Now, Kelly joins us again on Pet Corner and we're looking at some skin conditions that our dogs can suffer from but can be helped. Morning, Kelly. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. So there's lots of um, like skin conditions that us humans have, but you're saying as well, our dogs unfortunately can get some bad skin conditions too. Yeah, they can. They can suffer from food allergies, just like people, uh, also contact allergies, so towards things like grass, pollen. So pretty much yeah, everything we get, they get as well. So how will these conditions affect our pets? Again, just like people, they can end up with quite major skin um, infections. Uh, the red gets really red, really irritated, but the worst thing, especially for animals, is they start to self-mutilate. So they'll scratch, yeah. they'll chew, and you know they end up making themselves bleed and, and can really, really injure themselves. It makes them miserable too, right? Completely miserable, yeah. What can cause these issues in dogs, for example? So again, um, things like particular types of food can really cause it in dogs. Um, we do see a lot of contact allergies, as I mentioned before, regarding things like pollen. Mm -hmm. um, even sometimes just to things like house, certain household products. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's many different reasons and we still don't always know what actually does cause it. Um, we're quite lucky if we can pinpoint it. Yeah, it's just, you just sometimes don't know. I know with my cat, um, Chucky, she gets, um, with flea bites, definitely, yeah. she gets really, it's like an eczema, it's awful, yeah? So I have to get rid of those fleas as soon as possible. So I guess, um, is there something we can do to help our pets? Absolutely. I mean, th there's lots of different things you can do. For me today, obviously, I'm here to talk about the Newfoundland's Hokey Oil, and that's something I've seen just very recently, how well it, it really, really worked for a dog that had really terrible skin. And, um, yeah, so I, I'm very much about the fish oil. They're all about the fish oil. So about. tell us about the fish oil, this Newfoundland's um, Hokey Oil. Yeah, so it's a very unique fish oil, and um, it's full of omega-3s, which, you know, as we know, they're, they're great for the skin. And it also helps just reduce any of that irritation of the skin of the animal um, because, again, we don't want them to be itchy. And it helps make the coat nice and glossy and really soft as well. So it's almost like the, the fur becomes, instead of being quite brittle, like you tend to see in these dogs with really bad skin problems, yeah, yeah. Um, it actually softens it up and makes it nice and, nice and healthy. So how do they actually have the oil? Do you rub it on their skin or what happens? No, really easy. You just pump it into their food. So depending on the weight of the animal, we'll, we'll determine um, how many pumps they need in each meal. Great, nice and easy. Yes, yeah, simple. And it tastes all right, obviously. It's very palatable, so, so far I've not had any dogs refuse it. <laughs> not that you've tried it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I'm sure I could, but uh, we won't today. <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking about um, Cooper, who you've been um, helping out. What have the differences um, been in him that you've seen and the changes since he's been having the hokey oil? Well, for Cooper, he was a dog that was consistently on prednisone, um, which again is quite a common thing for these dogs with skin which conditions. Which is a steroid. A steroid, yeah. yeah. And and so he was consistently having to go on and off, on and off pred all the time. Uh, skin extremely red, really irritated, um, again self-mutilating himself. Aww. And within three weeks, um, so I got his mum Helen to try the product and she did that for three weeks. Um, and already the inflammation of his skin's reduced. He's not currently on his prednisone now. And she said he actually sleeps better and he's so much happier. Whereas before he was quite dull and, and quite miserable. Oh, look at him actually. Yeah. Do you know what that's incredible is his um, coat looks so much better. Yeah, it's actually really glossy as well. Yeah. Um, and he, he, yeah, he feels now like a, a lovely soft teddy bear. And look, he's <laughs> wagging his tail as well. It's lovely. So can you use this with any other pets? Yeah, so absolutely, you can use it in um, cats as well. And again, you know, hence why we've got the smaller sizes for small dogs and cats. Same concept for them, just pop it on their food. Okay, so what sort of benefits would I see with my cat? So again, for the cats, it um, helps with skin. Um, same for dogs as well, helps with um, arthritis in their, their joints. Oh, wow. So it helps with mobility um, and also cognitive function as well. So making their brain a lot more alert. And again, that does it for both species. Fantastic. Sounds awesome. Thanks so much for coming in. And I'm so glad you helped Cooper out. Yeah. I'm going to try it with Chucky, definitely. <laughs> All right, to see Cooper's full story, go to the Cafe Facebook page. Plus, we have two Newfoundland's Hokey Oils to give away on our Facebook page page two.